is nothing. The whole universe was born. In the blink of an eye, literally, so much can happen that it would blow your mind. How and what is the universe made of? The secret of creation, the secret of everything, is locked in that first second. Technology stands on the brink of revealing what happened in the most important second of all time. nothing no matter no energy not even empty space because space itself doesn't exist no time passes because there's no such thing as time from nowhere appears a fireball smaller than an atom 10 trillion trillion times hotter than the core of the Sun Everything that will become the universe explodes from a point millions of times smaller than a pinprick. Time begins. In one second, the blueprint for the entire cosmos is written. How it happened is the biggest mystery of all. Professor Lawrence Krauss has devoted his career to studying the first second after the Big Bang. It all came together. Looking back to the instant of creation is a new idea. The theory of the Big Bang is widely accepted, but the concept is less than a century old. But one of the things we have to put in perspective is, is how recent our understanding of the universe is. Eighty years ago, the conventional wisdom in science was that the universe was static and eternal, had been around forever. But this changes in 1929. At California's Mount Wilson Observatory, Edwin Hubble studies the light from galaxies. He observes that the farther the galaxy, the longer the wavelength of light it emits. Light waves stretch the more they travel, and stretching changes their wavelength. Galaxies around us have shifted to this red light, we look out in all directions at distant galaxies, they're all moving away from us. Nearly all galaxies are receding at a million miles an hour. If galaxies are speeding away from each other, at some point, they must have all been together. The universe is expanding outward from a single point. It's the first evidence that the universe had a beginning. 
Hubble's findings lead to a radical concept. The Big Bang Theory. Something similar happens with light waves. If a galaxy is moving away from us, its light waves stretch, becoming longer and redder. It's called red shifting. When we look at visible light, there's red at one end of the spectrum and blue at the other. Red radiation is the long wavelength radiation of visible light, whereas blue radiation is the short wavelengths. And as we look at the universe, we see the radiation from distant stars literally stretching so that the light gets redder. And the farther away we look, the redder the light is. second after the Big Bang, the building blocks were created for every star and planet in the cosmos. To prove it, they first need a new way to tell time. Hours, minutes, and seconds are the basis of modern life. But events after the Big Bang happen in fragments of time far smaller than a second. the young planet. Geologists now believe that soon after it formed, the Earth completely melted. Originally the Earth was probably just a big collection of rocks like this, but it heated up to the point where these rocks all melted. And when that happened, the denser elements sank down through to the very core of the Earth, and the lighter elements floated at the top. I mean, it had molten magma oceans, uh, no, no dry land anywhere, no water, just uh, flowing lava everywhere. The temperature of the molten Earth was now a staggering 2,000 degrees. But at the edge of the planet, the vacuum of space is a constant minus 450 degrees, almost 2,500 degrees colder. The surface rock, could not stay molten for long. They're floating in space as the Earth accretes. It includes some of this ferociously hot material. As it gets inside there, it begins to heat up the rocks around it. And if you build the Earth fast enough and incorporate it into this really hot reactive elements, it will be enough to melt the Earth from the inside out. Only 30 million years after it began to form, Earth had become a giant round ball of boiling liquid rock and metal orbiting the sun. Imagine a, a totally molten world, this little scab 
like on a moon, a cool rock that's still really hot, and then gradually gets a pool from the outside. In less than a million years, Earth's surface was covered in a thin crust. But volcanoes still spewed out lava and choking gases. Meteorites rained down by constant bombardment. Earth had a long way to go before it could support continents, oceans, and life.